Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Reconciling accounts matches transactions from an account's bank statement to transactions for the account in QuickBooks Online Plus. Only balance sheet accounts can be reconciled. To reconcile an account, click the gear button. Then click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu to open the Reconcile page. To select the account to reconcile, use the Account drop-down. For the selected account, enter the account statement information into the Enter the following from your statement section. The account's beginning balance appears to the left. Enter the statement's ending balance into the Ending Balance field. Then enter the statement's ending date into the Ending Date field. If needed, enter any bank service fees or interest earned into the Enter the Service Charge or Interest Earned If Necessary section. Enter any bank service fees into the Service Charge field and then select the date and the account used to track bank service fees from the adjacent Date and Expense Account drop-downs. To enter Interest Earned, type the amount of interest earned into the Interest Earned field. Then select the date and the income account used to track interest from the adjacent date and income account drop-downs. To reconcile the account after entering the statement information, click the Start Reconciling button at the bottom of the window. In the Reconcile Account Name window that opens, the transactions for the account as of the statement ending date appear on the Payments, Deposits, and All tabs. You can click these tabs to filter the transactions shown in the list below to display only the associated types of account transactions. Clicking the Payments tab shows payments in the transaction list. Clicking the Deposits tab shows only deposits in the transaction list. Clicking the All tab shows all account transactions. The information you entered from the account statement appears at the top of the window. The purpose of this window is to click the small circles at the right end of the transaction rows that appear in the account statement to mark them as cleared by placing a check mark in the circles. After all transactions have been found and marked as cleared, the difference shown in the upper right corner of the window should be zero. This means every account transaction in the statement has been matched to a transaction in QuickBooks Online and therefore the transactions in both versions of the account are reconciled. By default, the list of transactions hides transactions that occur after the statement's end date. To show all transactions, click the X button to the left of the statement ending date filter in the upper left corner of the transaction list or click the Clear Filter View All link in the same area to remove all filters. To apply filters to the transaction list, click the Filter drop-down button in the upper left corner of the transaction list to select from filtering choices in the drop-down menu. Then click the Apply button in the drop-down menu to apply the filters you selected. You can remove applied filters by clicking the X button to the left of the applied filter's name or by clicking the Clear Filter View All link. To change the information you entered from the account statement, click the Edit Info button in the upper right corner of this window to open and edit the information from your statement pane at the right side of the window. Change the account statement information as needed, and then click the Save button in the lower right corner of this pane to return to the Reconcile Account Name window. Click the Cancel button in this pane to leave without saving any changes. The information at the top of the window shows the statement ending balance minus the cleared balance, which should produce a difference of zero after completing the account reconciliation. The account's beginning balance minus the total payments and deposits selected in the transaction list also appear here. There is a drop-down button in the upper right corner of the page that you use to manage the account reconciliation. After successfully reconciling an account, Select the Finish Now command from this drop-down button to save it and close the page. To save your work if you want to finish reconciling an account later, or if you need to leave to investigate an account discrepancy, click the Save for Later command from this drop-down button to save your work and close the page. To return to finish the account reconciliation later, click the Gear button and then click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu again. Then select the same account again, and click the adjacent Resume Reconciling button to continue from where you left.
Selecting the Close Without Saving command from this drop-down button opens a We'll Remove All Your Changes confirmation prompt window. To remove all your changes and close the reconciliation, click the Close Without Saving button in the prompt window. To return to the reconciliation, click the Go Back button in the prompt window. After completing an account reconciliation, a reconciliation report becomes available. In the Success, You Reconciled Your Account window that appears, you can click the View Report button to view the report. Otherwise, click the Done button in this window to close it. Alternatively, to view an account reconciliation report, click the Gear button, then click the Reconcile link under the Tools heading in the drop-down menu to open the initial Reconcile window again. Then click the Reconciliation History link in the upper right corner of that window to open a Reconciliation History window. Use the Account drop-down at the top of this window to select the account for which to view the previous Reconciliation report. The account's previous Reconciliation reports then appear in the list below. For the desired period, click the View Report link under the Action column to open the report. Then click the Print button in the upper right corner of the report to print it if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.